Okay, now let's introduce the IPv4 address. Actually, what is an IP address? If a user want to access the internet, the user must be allocated with an IP address so that it can communicate with the, the routers and computers in the network. Also, if one user want to transmit some data to another destination, for example, this one, then he must know the IP address of the destination PC. Then he, he can know, okay, uh, my packet should go along some path to, uh, to arrive this PC. So IP address is very, very important. It can identify a node on the network. And actually, it is not corresponding to a node. Instead, it corresponding to an interface. So how to understand this? For example, if this router, they have three interfaces, right? Each of them connected to another router. So this router will not have only one IP address. Instead, it will have three IP address, each IP address corresponding to each interface. And similarly, if one computer have two network interface card, for example, one for wireless interface card and another one for a wired network interface card, then there are actually two IP address, one for the wireless, another for the uh, wired IP address. Okay. So actually the IP address corresponding to the interface instead of the node. So here, if one computer want to transmit a packet to the destination, then they should rely on the router to forward the packet to the correct link. And how does this router forward the packet? Actually, they will check for the destination IP address. And then they know that, okay, for IP5, I should forward through this link. And similarly, for this router, they should forward through this link. And eventually, they will arrive the IP5. Okay, that is the uh, function of IP address. So in con conclusion, if you want to uh, be connected to the internet, if you want to find others, you, you need to know the other one's IP address. If you want to be found by others, then they should know your IP address. Okay, then because IP address is so important, we need to know what's its uh, detailed format. Actually, an IPv4 address is 32 bit long. So here, 32 bit, four byte. Okay. And we can write each byte into a decimal number. So in that case, this 32 bit can be written into four decimal number. So we call this format to be the dotted decimal notation. And this dotted decimal notation are more friendly to users. But actually, if that is computer, then the computer will only recognize these uh, 01-bit strings. That is a 32-bit long uh, IPv4 address. And you should be very familiar with the conversion between the decimal format and the binary format. Okay. So uh, it's easy to see that the IPv4 address actually can range from all zero bit streams to all one bit streams. Okay. Actually, um, this address range cannot provide um, enough IP address. So actually now IPv4 are um, go under the evolution to IPv6, which can provide more IP addresses for more devices over the world. Okay, so we have already know that IPv4 address has 32 bit, but actually they can divide it into two parts. The first part is the network part. They identifies a network. So if two computers are in the same network, then the network part of their IP address will be the same. And the other part is the host part. Actually, the host part identifies the host. So different hosts 
in one network will have different host part. For example, PCA may have uh, dot one uh, address, but PC2 may have dot two address. Okay. So how to uh, know which part is the network part, which part is the host part? Actually, we need another thing. That is the network mask. Actually, network mask is used to distinguish the network part from the host part. And it's very easy. Um, the network mask can be represented by a number, a slash, and a number. And this number are the number of bits in the network part. So for example, uh, if this is the uh, IP address, if this 24 bit are the network part, then you use a slash 24. That is a format of network mask. All right. And another network mask format is like this. They can put all the um, network part bit to be one and they let the uh, host part bit to be zero. Then they can be written as this 24 or uh, 32 bit. And uh, that is also a dotted decimal format. So that is 255, 255, 2550. So that is another format of network mask. Okay, so if you, you are asked the network mask, you can write it in this format or just in this format. Both formats are okay. And um, you can see that actually uh, if the host part have more bit, then this network can allow more hosts in this network, right? So if it's 8 bit, then at most they, ha they can support 255 uh, number of hosts. But if um, this is 16 bit, then they can support much more hosts. Okay, so you can, uh, according to how much IP address you, 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 you need it, then you can know how to divide the network part and the host part. Okay, so actually there are two kind of different IP addressing. If we are in layer two, then it's very easy uh, because for one IP address, the first part is the network part, the second part is the host part, so the packet can be transmitted in this subnet by uh, using this part, then they can find the destination host, right? So uh, that's the way for layer two net network address. They can only check this part, that's okay. But actually, if we're in layer three, so for example, we have a layer two uh, subnet. So this, uh, all the devices in this subnet are connected with switches and there is no routers in it. Then that is a subnet, okay? So this is a layer two network or we call it a subnet. And uh, there is another layer two network we call it another subnet. Then uh, if we have a router in it, then this whole network will not be a layer two network any longer. That's a layer three network. And in this layer three network, actually you cannot uh, simply by using this host part to find an, an IP and host. You need to go through a gateway and the gateway need to check the destination of the um, Destin IP address of the destination, and then they find that, okay, this is the correct outgoing link, then the packet are forwarded through this link. So here the gateway is very important, and they do the network addressing uh, and then forward the packet to the correct link. Um, so another definition is that we need to know what is the gateway address so actually, the gateway is the router which are used for the subnetwork to connect it to the out, out uh, to the internet. And the gateway address actually means the address of this interface. The interface directly connect to this subnet. Okay. So this address actually this address is the gateway's address. And for any computer, if they can 
successfully connected to the internet, we must uh, identify a gateway address for it.